Hey guys, Magic Man here, and I just kind of wanted to talk about the uh, status of my channel. I know it's been a while since I uploaded a video. Uh, that's actually kind of due in part to the fact uh, I had to change the brakes on my car and uh, ended up being a big ordeal. Uh, once I got the brakes changed, uh, two days after that, uh, disaster struck and uh, it took me, I don't know, the better part of four days straight something like that um, to figure out what the problem was so I just haven't had much time to be doing this and now with uh, the holidays and everything coming up it's gonna be even tighter on my schedule so uh, my I know I was trying to do a daily upload there for a while but for now my uploads are probably gonna be a little bit sporadic uh, anyways I finally got to sit down and uh, play World of Warships for the first time in like two weeks and this is my first game. I decided I would uh, set some fires on people. I wanted to play um, basically an HE spammer so I, I chose my Miyoko and you know I figured with all of the uh, British cruisers being in the game now they're gonna be some really squishy targets for me to shoot at. But that's not uh, what I typically end up shooting at this in this game. Um, I think I kind of decided early on, as you can see there, uh, for quite a long period of time, I'd say maybe 30 seconds after the game started, nobody on my team was moving and uh, neither was I. I am in a cruiser and I know that I need at least a battleship and maybe one other cruiser to support me. So, I'm, I'm just not a whole lot into the whole charging in something by myself in this type of ship. Now, spot our first enemy. It's an Omaha. I probably should have been shooting AP at him, hindsight, but uh, when my, with my Japanese cruisers, I just kind of always went in doubt, fire HE, and this wasn't even doubt, it was just me being retarded. Uh, the Omaha has some very thin armor and a very large citadel and this guy is just opening it up to everybody and you, as you see there he just took a shot to the citadel right there. And I couldn't tell what speed he was going. It's not quite full speed. Uh, it was probably three quarters so I shot a little. Uh, I let him a little less and I end up landing my shots behind him. And now it, it appears that he's speeding up. Uh, that smoke's trail is kind of starting to uh, extend over the back of his ship uh, whereas before it just ended right at the end of his ship so couldn't tell exactly how fast he was going I knew it wasn't full speed I ended up missing him but it's quite alright I am kind of looking at the mini map right now and I am seeing that I do need to turn around because a majority of the enemy team was spotted up near the sea cap now one of my teammates I think is going to chase this Kiev down and this Omaha is doing a pretty good job of actually landing some shots on him. I'm going to take a couple of pot shots at him. But when a Kiev is that far away, he's very hard to hit. Any course changes is usually going to make your shots miss just because of how fast that ship travels. And my lead looked pretty good, but I elevated my guns just a little bit too much. So I miss. But now I've got bigger and better things to focus my attention on. Uh, I did see that Miyoko out of the corner of my eye. However, he wasn't a big priority to me. I needed to see where that New Mexico was aiming. So uh, he actually ends up grounding himself. He way overextended and ended found himself right in front of a battleship. So uh, he's gonna yeah, sink to the bottom uh, because of his bad decision. And unfortunately for him, he doesn't hit with his torpedoes either, so kind of a waste of this ship, which is good for good for my team. Uh, the enemy has already lost two of their cruisers. They lost that Omaha that went into B, and they just lost that Miyoko. And I am going to try and get some fire damage in on some of these battleships, and we get one fire there on that New Mexico, and the other New Mexico finally pops back into view. So I'm going to see if I can set a fire on him. 
I'm waiting for my uh, damage counter to stop going up before I turn my guns back to the other New Mexico. Uh, typically once I start a fire on somebody, I will change targets to see if I can get one on another one, and if they put it out then I'll come back to my previous target. Now I actually overshot that New Mexico because he started slowing down. Uh, as you can see there, he's almost practically stationary. So I'm going to take another shot at him. Technically, I'm out of range of these guns. I think the max range is like 15.5. Uh, but sometimes you get a shell that kind of disperses a little bit out there. And in fact, I do get one shell that hits. Now, I'm actually in range of all these ships up here at the sea cap finally. And the enemy does have all the cap points. That's fine. Uh, but they are pushing extremely aggressively and they're actually paying the price because they're losing a lot of their ships from how hard they're pushing. And that is the second kill. I'm going to be honest, neither one of those kills did I deserve. Um, I just happened to be in the vicinity and figured I would s go ahead and secure that kill. And I end up kind of undershooting him just a tad bit but that's not a mistake I'm gonna make twice I'm gonna go ahead and take a good lead on him this time get some shots out there and it looks like both of my fires on the New Mexico have been put out I'm just turning around to look and confirm that unfortunately I can't see him because the islands in the way and get some pretty good damage on that Koenig uh, about 2,000 I think but uh, our teammates finish him off and the Koenig and the Bayern are actually pretty hard ships to uh, do any damage to with HE just because of how flat they are. Um, they don't really have much superstructure to hit. And that's kind of the same thing with the Fuso. You know, they basically have those Koenig towers, and that's about it. So they're hard to light fires on, they're hard to do damage. Uh, that's just the way it goes. They're also, that's also makes them very good for tanking damage as well so I usually consider those fairly strong ships and if there's another battleship in the vicinity to shoot at other than those guys I typically will take a shot at them and I'm just playing uh, the Miyoko right now kinda how I feel like it should be played most of the time which is uh, a long range HE spammer I typically don't like to get any closer than 13 kilometers and I know the firing range is only 15.5 or 6 so it doesn't leave you a whole lot of room to play with but uh, I feel like if you get any closer than about 13 uh, you don't really have enough time to maneuver and you typically end up eating a lot of damage. So far I've, I've stayed far enough away from the enemies where I haven't been a very lucrative target and as such I haven't really taken I don't think I've taken any shots. I don't think anybody's shot at me so far and there we go. I actually got three fires on that Congo. Uh, I wasn't sure if his damage control was back up. I knew he had been lit on fire earlier in the game. And it would appear that uh, his damage control is still on cooldown because he is burning quite a bit. Now, I was looking around to see if I could shoot at one of those Mexicos. Unfortunately, it's not going to be possible. <clears throat> Excuse me. Getting a little bit of mucus build up. Uh, not quite sure from what. Allergies have kind of been bothering me a little bit lately. Now, I'm selling broadside on. I'm pretty sure this New Mexico is going to pop out around this island any day now. And so is this Congo. Uh, the Congo is looking at somebody else. Otherwise, I probably would have turned away from him. Because uh, I'm in that zone where I feel like I'm starting to get a little bit too close to these guys and I should get away from them. And we actually get two fires on the Congo. Uh, I know he just uses damage control because he just set my fires, put my fires out that I had on him previously. So uh, this guy's probably hating his life right now. And I'm going to see if I can get a little bit more damage in on him, help him sink to the bottom just that much quicker. And for whatever reason, I see this New Mexico is about to ground. Uh, dumb thing to do. You never want to ground in front of the enemy like that. And it looks like that Congo is about to go down. And sure enough, we actually get the arsonist uh, achievement there. 
as he sinks to the bottom. And I believe that's what you get for doing uh, 60,000 points of fire damage, I think is what it is. Uh, I'm not quite sure on the exact number. It may be 50,000. And we get a fire started on that New Mexico while he was backing up that grounded. And for me, this was a good point, good time to use my scouting plane or my fighter plane because I can't see anything right now. And I really want to be able to see the enemy. Uh, this is one of my favorite positions to be in, uh, is on either side of this island of B, especially when the enemy team is all on one side of it. Uh, because it's such a great line of sight blocker, and most of the time you can shoot over it. Uh, it's just such a great firing position to sit yourself up in. And you can get a lot of, you know, damage in without the uh, fear of the enemy team really shooting back at you. And I'm really wanting to get a fire on this New Mexico before he goes behind the cover of that island. It would be really nice. And there it is. We go ahead and get a fire started. It's just great. And I wanted to try and get one on that New Mexico too, but it just wasn't in the cards for me. And this Bujoni has shown me a lot of broadside. I should have seen this in the background happening and switched over to AP uh, a while ago, but I didn't because I'm a moron. Um, but he's going to go into cover, which sucks for me, but I see this the other New Mexico is steaming around this corner. And it's probably going to be a good position for me to be able to shoot at him. Now unfortunately I can't stay behind this island anymore. Uh, this Bujoni is going to force me to move out of this position because of where he's putting positioning his ship and I fire a salvo of AP at him and actually get a little bit of penetrating damage, not a whole lot. And I think this New Mexico is going to continue. He's kind of aiming towards the island, so I hold my second set a little bit longer. Unfortunately for me, it would appear that he is actually stopping right there. So apparently he wants to set up camp, which is fine by me. I'm just going to pull the distance on him a little bit, and then I'm going to start lighting some fires on him. Uh, stationary target is the best kind of target because they're easy to hit. So I am all about these guys when they decide to do this stupid reverse player, whatever it is. Uh, there are times and places for it. Uh, this unfortunately is not the time or the place because he's really sitting broadside onto that Texas, and uh, I'm not I'm not quite sure what he was doing here. But it's fine by me, and I have to start angling out because that Bujoni is about to come around that island. And I do not want to eat a salvo of Russian AP. It does hurt. Although, it looks like he's not even pointing his gun in my direction. And in a lot of these situations against cruisers, I've, uh, I've kept HE loaded. Just because I've assumed these guys are going to play it smart and angle in towards me. But uh, so far that has not been the case. And I switch over to AP because I see he's just carefree he doesn't care if I shoot him in the side and I actually get a fire started on him so uh, that's probably gonna force out his damage control which is good for us although it's kind of looking like he might have a suicide uh, run coming in there uh, I'm not quite sure because it looked like he was trying to ram our battleship We'll see what happens though. I'll switch back over to HE to try and light a fire on this New Mexico. And I do actually manage to kill our friendly Texas, but that video only is on 400 health. And I assume this New York is going to uh, shoot him and kill him, so I didn't bother uh, even to look over in his direction. And we get a fire start in this New Mexico. He's basically dead in my mind, but I'm just trying to send him to the bottom a little bit quicker because. It looks like he's finally decided to change his uh, attention towards me. And for whatever reason, either that New York missed, or he's shooting at something else, I'm not quite sure. Or maybe there's an island in between them. But uh, that Bugioni is still alive, so I am going to uh, go ahead and secure that kill as well. 
because it looks like he's gonna get away. So little as he know. And I am right over here. And if I actually manage to sink this guy, that'll be my fifth kill. And we will get a Kraken Unleashed. There it is. And that's not too bad. I actually set a fire as he goes down. So, uh, good for me. And that's when this Belfast over here, I haven't seen him all game, uh, pops into view. And this is kind of a dangerous situation for me. The Belfast uh, has some pretty good AP. He's got a quick reload. So I don't want to turn my side to him. I'm just hoping that uh, my friendly battleship over there can shave off enough of his HP that I don't really have to deal with uh, deal with him too much, but it's not quite happening. I'm just kind of checking his speed there, see if he's speeding up or slowing down with my torpedoes. I didn't see the indicator moving too much, so. And I forgot the Belfast. Uh, I don't think it has torpedoes. I'm pretty sure it doesn't. Anyways, uh, I actually turned on my hydroacoustic because I thought torpedoes might be coming, but uh, as I closed in, I realized, oh, I don't think he has torpedoes. And we land two citadels on him there, and that's pretty much going to be the game. Uh, I just have to wait for the points counter to go up. So I ended up getting six kills and got 100 hits, 13 fires, got an arsonist and a Kraken Unleashed. So it was a pretty good game for my first game playing in, I don't know, two, three weeks. It's been a while. And I really wanted to get some more damage in on this Koenig. I felt like he was uh, one of those straight liners. His course isn't varying that much. And I want to hit him with these torpedoes, but there's just not enough time in the game. Which is too bad for me, but such is life. And this is going to be it right here once this next counter goes in and there is a thousand points right about now so first game back wasn't too shabby I uh, did 112,000 points of damage uh, ended up making uh, 183,000 credits and 2500 XP end up getting uh, arsonist and Kraken unleashed so it's a pretty good game overall sunk six ships and ended up on the top of the team list there unsurprisingly and as far as the uh, channel goes I'm going to try and start uploading videos on a more daily basis but we'll see how it goes with Thanksgiving and Christmas right around the corner uh, who knows what's gonna happen but I'm gonna try my hardest but uh, we'll see Anyways, if you guys did like it, watching this video, uh, please like and hit the subscribe button.